AK Puzzle Mufasa, it's Brendan Beck. We're here at the George Bush International Airport in Houston. I got up at 5 a.m. this morning, drove all the way two hours from Nacogdoches to Houston to drive and fly home to go see my family. Um, and also, important update, I'm getting the A7S III. It got shipped in yesterday. So we're gonna go and I'm gonna, we're gonna see that. We're gonna test that out. Uh, maybe do some B-roll of the family while we're spending time together and stuff. So anyways, very tired, need some coffee. We gotta get checked in, we'll do the whole thing. All right, let's get it. Finally, after a long six months, this came in, the mail. Any guesses what it is? I think I told you at the beginning of the video anyways. It is <sighs> Let's see what we got. Yeah. Uh, USB to USB C cord. Yeah. Oh. Got a charger, another charger. Am I even in focus? I don't know. Ooh. This feels so nice. So, the main reason why I got this camera is because of this. This little thing right here. I'm just kidding. With the new firmware update, with the s Cinetone update, it was a no-brainer. Now we have the same color science that is on their high-end cinema cameras. I'm gonna set this up and the next shot that you see is gonna be filmed on this bad boy here for the rest of the vlog. All right, so we're shooting on the Sony a7S III now and S-Log3, how does it look? Does it look a lot better? Do I look amazing? Is my subscriber count gonna go up finally? I wanna know, are we? We're now in 10 big color, everything looks great here. Let's see what we can do. Let's see if we can film some B-roll and stuff up here. You know what I mean? Let's do it. Everything got all 
muddy. Got mud on my hands. Ew. So I was taking my son down to go throw the stick in the water and at the very bottom, they had just dug out that area and it was very soft and kind of below the water level. And as soon as I stepped onto that soft spot, boom, I just sunk right <laughs> into the thing. And literally, I was just like, I had no control over my legs. And I was like, man, I'm gonna ruin this camera. It's the first, first day out and we're gonna ruin the camera. <sighs> I'm gonna rinse off here real quick and just, <sighs> Hopefully my Birkins don't get ruined and hopefully they stay, uh, hopefully they don't get ruined I have to buy another pair. So I've had these Birkins for about three years now. Hopefully they don't ruin it. I have to buy another pair because they're kind of expensive, 120 bucks. Anyways, I gotta shower up, get rid of the rest of the mud because that mud was caked on there. It didn't want to come off. Really, really, really thick, nasty mud it smells. It's gross. <sighs> but at least the A7S III is okay. As you can see, I'm all freshened up. I've got all the mud and the stank off of me. I still gotta bathe my son, but before we do that, we're gonna install S Cinetone, do the firmware update, because that is the first thing that we need to do. We shot an S-Log 3 for the first half of the vlog. The second half, we're gonna be doing S Cinetone. That way I don't have to kind of grade anything or convert anything or whatever, slap the LUD on. Uh, and I can just shoot straight out of camera and import and cut, 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 boom, upload to YouTube, make it super streamlined and simple. And there's a tutorial that my buddy Steven, you said, I'll put the link down below on if you need to update your firmware on the Sony a7S III. I'll put it down in the description below because he did a really excellent job and it's super peaceful. It's probably the most peaceful tutorial I've ever seen on YouTube on installing a firmware. Link down below. Now we're updating the system, firmware, system, whatever. It's gonna take a while. Hopefully before the sun goes down so we can test it out. We are finished. It's time. Is he limping? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Come here, baby. Billy's limping right now. Why? Huh? Hold on, Bobby. Oh, we took one for a walk. You know how he has arthritis in his neck? Oh, Reg is gonna send you the photo of me when I fell in the mud. I fell in the. You told her what? I haven't fallen in the mud, but I fell in the mud today. Seriously? Yes. So first you drop it from your car, <laughs> now you think it in mud. Yeah. Yep. Anyways, so this is that Cinetone, guys. Ooh, I'm a little overexposed. Here, get the exposure right. There we go. This is that Cinetone. How's it look? Looks pretty good. Let's walk out in here, walk out of the shade. This is what it looks like. Not bad, kind of liking the look. Straight out of color, you get some great highlights, roll-offs. Great highlights, roll-offs, and uh, you know, cinematic colors straight out of camera. You don't really have to do anything. So it's kind of like their LUT that they use. Uh, uh, right there, right there. How's that look? Looking pretty good. I say that looks pretty good. Let's shoot some B-roll. Everybody has a time where their life is completely changed forever. One day you're independent without a care in the world, and in the blink of an eye, you're sitting face to face with a newborn baby. I remember holding my daughter for the first time, thinking she was the most beautiful thing I had ever seen. There is absolutely no other feeling like it. And then suddenly those feelings pass. But then you sit there and you look at your kids and you vouch you're going to do everything in your power to make sure that they're successful in life. And when I mean everything, I really mean it. 
you go out of your way, you work hard day in and day out to try and give them a better life than the one that you had growing up, just like my parents did. And my grandparents and my great grandparents, they all wanted something better for their kids. Back in December, I had to make a difficult decision to travel out for work to battle COVID as an ICU nurse. Now, to some of you, that may be a normal thing. Maybe you're a truck driver. Maybe your job requires you to travel and leave your family. But you have to understand something. For the past four years, I have never been away from my family. And every time I come home and visit with them, Every time I leave, it never gets easier. I always leave, going on to the airport, tears welling up in my eyes, and I just hold my head up and I continue forward. It's not easy moving forward. But I move forward because I have my eye on the prize, my eye on the prize, the prize that one day I'm going to see my kids growing up and they are going to be happy. I am going to push them to do what they want in life. If they want to be a musician, I'm going to encourage that. If they want to be a doctor, I'm going to encourage that. If they want to be a YouTuber, I'm going to encourage that. One day that will happen, but for now, We keep our nose on the grindstone and we keep our eye on the prize. Doing this, leaving uh, the family to to go work, it's, it's, you know, it's a little straining on the body, but, you know, in the end, I know it's going to be something that's going to pay off in the long run. It's just the small sacrifices that we do for our family in the meantime, that way later in life, as they get older, when they really start to realize if you're gonna be there or not for them, that's when it counts. Hopefully I can work now, get ahead of this, and then later I won't have to do this as much and I can be there for my kids. So, you know, it's hard. You know, you do what you gotta do, it is what it is. 